So I'm pretty much done with this tool. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys a couple of updates and sort of walk you through all the features and show you all the doodads and whatnots of the whole thing. Um, so I'm just going to, as you say, like change around some of the UI a little bit. I'm just going to turn off the screen cap mode for a bit. Um, and just sort of walk you through what all is going on. So obviously we have a undo, redo for whenever we're drawing. Um, but what we're actually drawing is smooth curve and a um, normal curve. So if we just draw explicitly on here, that is the curve that we're going to get. And then here's a smooth version um, where we can iterate over it and get some smoothing. Now it's a little bit hard to see because of uh, how often it's taking an update on my read. So what I'm going to do is un undo this, um, switch my time buffer up a little bit because that so that means it'll take less um, information. So now we're getting a more jaggedy line. So every six updates it actually is reading. And then if I turn the curve back on, we're actually seeing a smoothed out version based on this. Um, so what we're seeing is normal, smoothing a one, two, and three. I'm using the exact same algorithm that um, Maya is using. Well, uh, for their smooth, I mean, I'm approximating it in a two dimensional space, but it's essentially the exact same. Um, so beyond that, um, there's a couple of other cool little features. Um, so there's the, the base where I'm using the curves, which is what I like a little bit more. But I just want to show you guys how paths work. Um, and actually, I can leave that on because the pathing turns those off. I probably should set those unenabled or whatever. But um, paths and, and uh, QT, I personally hate um, unless you're doing a linear path. But if you're doing sort of something sort of curved, the most you can do is input four values for a Bezier curve. And uh, I find that annoying because if you look here, this is what I would want as my Bezier curve because I'm actually sort of um, implementing over the whole thing, whereas they're just taking a couple of different points um, as opposed to waiting across the entire thing, um, which I am vehemently opposed to. And uh, I actually didn't even realize until I started doing this project because um, I just never had a scenario where I needed to do something like this. Um, and then I decided to start drawing. There's my name. Um, <laughs> so beyond that, um, obviously this is the, the, how you're drawing and whatnot, and this could be expanded upon and, um, have a little tool panel to, to define your colors and maybe if you want to like fill area and, and different stuff like that thickness. Um, but for right now, I'm, I'm not really worried about that. That's, that's relatively simple extra bits. Um, then really, like I said, I'm not really that worried about. So the cool thing is the screen capture mode. Um, do a quick screen cap so it'll hide itself and then pop up. Uh, so you can see that there's a little bit extra here because it's actually screen capping the whole screen. Um, and I'm just sort of doing this on a little bit smaller view so you get to see a little bit behind the curtain. Um, screen cap again. That took me, you know, 20 seconds to, or 10 seconds to explain. Um, so on here, if you turn on the resize, it'll actually constantly update itself with the scale of your UI. Um, again, preserving um, your aspect ratio. As soon as you turn that off, it no longer cares what you're doing, and you're just drawing. Um, however you so choose. Um, hold it. Undo. Do, 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 do. Turn it off the smooth. Turn it down here. And the whole smoothing thing is just sort of to give some fun examples of different stuff. I'm trying to draw a little arrow. It's really hard to do this with a, a mouse. <laughs> but um, let's see, we go back here. And now we can also crop. Um, I'm actually going to clean this up after I do this video. I'm going to re, uh, realign these things so that they're a little bit better. Uh, I must have been using a small... Yeah, I was using it like that and didn't realize that, that these are all sort of right aligned. I'm going to center those out. Anyway, um, so one of the options you have, uh, hide the... If you, turn, if you don't turn that off, then you're obviously going to get the image of itself and whatnot. Um, and then you have the remove strokes. If you don't do that, then you'll have whatever you had there before, which you may or may not want. Uh, that's your call. So then I can crop. Let's say I'm just interested in this part here. 
uh, you can always cancel it and then jump back into crop mode. You can't crop past the the size of your image. Um, set crop. So now I have this. We're going to crop it again. And it's always going to pop that up to the biggest size to um, help. There you go. I'm pointing at the time. I, uh, I like to talk, apparently. Um, and then finally, you can save your image. And right now, I just have it writing out to wherever it is. And you have your image. Um, if, for example, you were to change this and rewrite, um, it's just going to overwrite this because there's nothing in here that's doing any versioning or anything of that nature. Um, it's just very straightforward as far as that goes. Um, but yeah, that's the tool as it exists right now. Uh, like I said, there's a couple little things here and there I want to tweak. Um, but if there's anything you guys have any suggestions or thoughts or comments, um, I'd love to hear them just because I think it'd be cool to add in some extra things from uh, users while I'm working on this class. Um, again, I always appreciate any help. Thank you much.